Watch you guys, in this video we're going to be taking a look at how we can play our movies from our PC to our TV in our house using just a wireless connection. So go to start and uh, settings here and uh, what you need to do is go into your network and internet settings and then once you're in here you can see we're on a private network and we're going to come down to where it says sharing options here inside sharing options you want to make sure you're probably going to be looking at this uh, view here let me just quickly close these off so I can show you if you've got this look you just need to pull these little tabs down and you can see here private current profile make sure that's turned on make sure file and printer sharing is turned on and then coming down a little bit further to where it says all networks so these are important to have on okay now down here you want to make sure that it says file sharing connections 128 bit encryption and also turn off password protection sharing make sure that's on off okay otherwise this is not going to be possible so you can see here use 128 bit uh, encryption choose your media streaming options click on this uh, option here and then turn on your media sharing this will give you a view of what you've got turned on in your home at that one time you can see here you should see your TV, you've got TVs here and also other uh, devices in the home. Make sure you click allow all and you want to allow everything to run on your home network so you can share it, okay? Then save your changes and close off uh, this area here. Now if you're looking to share your drive itself, right click on it and go to properties and then go into the properties pane here and look for the sharing tab. You can see it's all grayed out here and that's because it hasn't been set up. So what you want to do here is go to advanced sharing and share this folder and put the tick in there and you'll see the drive. And that will be the drive letter for the drive that you're sharing. Now you can limit the number of users that will be sharing on there, which is 20. Now if you want to change the permissions, just hit the permissions tab here and you can see the group of usernames are everyone. And if you want to add more in, you can do. And you can also change the permissions for everyone, which will be full control, uh, change, which allow them to change uh, folders and stuff like that in there, and also read and write permissions. You can add in usernames inside here and search for those, or you can click the advanced tab down below and click on find now and add people in that way. And that will be the people that you will allow him to share that uh, drive with, okay? Now if you're looking just to share your movies folder say for instance what you want to do is right click on your movies folder and then go to give access to and then specific people click on this one here and then you'll see there's another box that opens up here and inside this box you'll see there's going to be uh, everyone already in place and that's because I'm already sharing that but type a name and then click add and that will be um, the people that you're adding from here okay and that's how you can add people in. you can give them read and write access here or just read access you can see a list of people here you can create a user if you wish as well and uh, that will give people access to that folder and that's how basically you can restrict other people now read access is fine it's on your home network this is so only people on your home network will be able to read those files and that's all you want them to do and then once you do that you can hit the share button and uh, that will then share that content so let me just take you over to the TV now and I'll show you how to set it up on your TV so inside your TV settings you need to navigate to your settings quick setup or something like that and go to your network settings you can see wireless here now you can do this through Ethernet if you wish but you need to put in your Ethernet cable or set up your wireless uh, connection which is putting your Wi-Fi connection now look for your media section on your um, TV most modern day TVs have media section go into there and you should now see your computer that comes up click on this and now you want to navigate to the video section because obviously we're looking for movies and now we want to look for folders because that's how you want to look for it and now you should see the folders that you're sharing movies and TV shows so click on movies 
and now you'll get all your movies how you've uh, listed them out i've listed them all out as in action adventure animation comedy and so on just keeps it nice and organized and it's easier to find stuff and that's pretty much it so if you've got your little archive set up somewhere of family photos movies or maybe some films or tv shows that you want to share on your home network then this is how you can do it no fancy equipment you just have to leave your pc on that's the only drawback you will need to leave your pc on but that's easy solved you can get yourself a nas drive or maybe some sort of a small little mini form factor pc uh, which you can leave on all the time uh, with a, a drive in there or something like that an external drive and you can share it that way it's pretty straightforward and easy to do great way of sharing all your media now i've tried this on four different types of tvs and it works well hisense samsung uh, sony and uh, Panasonic it works on all of those TVs so it should be working for your TV if it has a media section or media server they're called different things but just have a good look around in there and it should work just fine anyway I hope this one helps you out someone requested it I can't remember who but thanks again for watching my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos